Hey, day 22. Had an internet outage, so. A couple of seconds late. All right, so. Steps a cuboid, what does that mean? Okay. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. We can just ignore these instructions. Oh, nice. This again. Uh, I should say, I'll say I want to be fast. Negative indices, right? And then you can just, I think you can just access it. Yeah, okay, so that's what we want. Dot dot. Now, this is what I want. Same deal here. So I think it's false first. Um, Right, and then we're going to do this. This is going to be positive, this is going to be one, this is min. This is one. Okay. Um, yeah, and now. Do I have to just not db run? That's the right answer, right? Okay, and then we do that. Wow, 47, that is not very really good.
Got it. Okay, so we need to and we need to read in all the we can't actually do this, it's too many. We need to read all the instructions and then compress the coordinates. So Okay, so we're gonna do a boom, 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 and that's it. Ah. Okay, so again, this was one z z z z y y. Um, is that it? Because I I want to do this. this anymore I should have done that. I should have done this. Y, Y, Z, 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 Y, 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 Z, Z. for the stream. Alright, and then finally Grid X, Y, Z times X, X plus. Uh.
Still two. Oh, I got this again. Oh, let's go. All right. How was I so bad at the first part then? That's kind of surprising. All right, cool. I don't even get the most points for that because I got, I lost a lot of points on this part. Let's see, how did everyone else do? There's Andrew. 25th, and where's Kevin? 67th, okay. What else is here? Steven here? No. And I really the first one by that far. It's kind of surprising. All right, well, let's talk about it. Um, I guess I didn't save my first part, but that's okay. Anyway. Um, Come back to the problem. So now let's do this. And then this is going to be a lot of undoing. Should have just saved it. This is kind of fun to watch though. All right. Oh, too far, too far, too far, too far. All right, there we go. I said this one was four, seven. Just four, four, seven, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. All right, so this is... And we're going to check out the original. All right, so this is the original. Um, this one is pretty simple algorithmically or logically. It's just an implementation task. Um, so as you can see, I, I modified the input manually to make it a little bit easier to read in. Um, and yeah, you just take each command, check the type, take the coordinates, um, bound them from negative 50 to 50 like describe. Then we just iterate through uh, and set that to, to the value. But at the end, we go through everything and add them up. And there's only 100 by 100 by 100. I guess 101 by 101, but anyway, it's about 1 million, which is not too many. Um, so this will run pretty fast. And this is just like a little trick to do negative array indexing without um, actually messing up the array. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You could just you could just do n plus in all these cases instead. That's basically what it's doing. Um, let's see how this is going. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, I guess, again, it's like a kind of an algorithmic part two. So I think, um, I, I feel like the top people here will be a bunch of uh, competitive programmers. I'm kind of expecting, I don't know, I'm expecting a couple people to finish soon too. Probably Beta Veros, Goffrey, um, Andrew, yeah, we'll see. Um, anyway, so for part two, you have kind of the same thing, but these coordinates are very large. So you're not gonna be able to do the same approach. So this is gonna be, you know, these are kind of like 100,000 times 100,000 times 100,000. Uh, that is way too many cells. So what we do instead is the only coordinates that matter are the coordinates that are in the input these coordinates and we can kind of cut the grid along those lines and in between um, any any rectangular region that is not cut up like that is still a full region after being cut up by those lines will end up being the same color in the end because um, any operation we do goes from one line to another line um, so it's kind of like we draw a grid let's say like um, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's say there's an x at two, and then there's an x at um, seven, and then let's see, how should I do this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Um, and let's say there's an x at three, or oh, there's a y at three, and there's a y at uh, six. So we would draw these lines. And then, oh, this is actually kind of a hassle. I hope I put them in the right place. And so we draw a grid like this. And when we do um, a coloring operation, we're just coloring in full rectangles in this grid. So if we were to I only drew two lines each, but uh, if we had more lines, you know, you would go from one point here to maybe some other point there and fill in entire rectangles. So every operation you do, you either um, turn on or turn off. For each for each entire rectangle, you either turn it on or turn off, or you don't do anything to it. You never like do something partial to it. Uh, that's because we took all of the coordinates from the input. And now, um, once we have all those, we can sort them. And we can do coordinate compression where uh, we just keep the sorted list of that coordinate. And now the idea is instead of making a gigantic, you know, 100K by 100K by 100K array, we can just take the number of coordinates, which is N here, and just make an N by N by N array. And now when we get our operation, we can find the index of this coordinate in the list. And that is the compressed coordinate. And now we can just do the same thing over the compressed coordinates. And finally, at the end, um, we use this Boolean to determine whether this basically rectangular prism that has this volume, right? The next x minus the current x times an xy minus current y and so on. Um, those are the dimensions of this little rectangle, a rectangular prism. And that's the volume. And then we're using this to decide whether we should add this to the total. And if so, we do. Um, so this will run much more efficiently. And uh, that's the main idea for this problem. Um, let's take a look at this again. Yeah, OK, so like what I was thinking, um, Andrew and Goffrey made it up here. Um, this, this guy is also, I think he's a very old school, but very good competitive programmer. Roman Elizarov is a competitive programmer, Arknave. Um, so yeah, a lot of them here, but pretty nice to get my first uh, number one rank. Very surprised to get that today with, you know, 47th on part one. Um, anyway, that's going to be it for me today. Um, thanks for checking out the video and I'll see you in the next one.